<laughs> Just in time for your ringer. <clears throat> All right, guys. This is a real quick live update because we're going to have to put the phone down. But Christian's going to drill the tank. We used our previous jig that we made for the other tank. And we basically just cut it off so it would fit in here. And he's going to use that. So a little bit of the water. What's up, Gabriel? We are finishing the plumbing now for that tank. So go ahead and you put a little water in there. That just helps with the diamond blade when he's cutting with the whole saw. And it may be loud and noisy and annoying. So I don't know how long it'll take. This is really, really thin, really thin glass. So just light pressure is all we need. And Ready to go? Yep, go for it. So it kind of cuts more to abrasion than it does to cutting. So the diamond bit really is rough on the glass and just chews it up. So adding the water to that, that fluidized grinding motion, wears a hole through it. Motion wears a hole through it. So that's kind of what happens. And you add the 2 by 4 underneath, and that's going to give the glass a support he needs. So as he's giving pressure, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it won't crack the glass. So we have to keep our thumbs crossed. I feel like it popped. This is really thin glass. Just watch that thing. Don't drop it. <laughs> I'm so afraid. The diamond blade, when you stop the auto thing, the centrifugal force from the weight of it, it throws the chuck loose, and it falls out almost every time. I just want so, to add a little more water in there. I wasn't sure if it got dry in there or not. Yeah, tighten that chuck. All right, cool. So he's going to keep going, which is good. It's always good to check and make sure it's wet. Less damage will occur that way. So as he's doing now, oh, did you make it? All right, so he popped through. Um, this is what's going to happen. So I covered this real quick with a, a clear film. This should be ready to go. What's going on, Andy? Doing good, man. What's going on, Cameron? You guys are going to get to see this thing. So we are putting the top back on, and we're going to lower this into the tank. Or we're going to put the tank in the floor and put that in there. But... The one thing we have to be careful about is these bulkheads. They're now sticking out the bottom of here. And since I made this a permanent fixture with this scape, that those bulkheads don't come off. So this is a one and done unit. This isn't like if this thing breaks, we'll just take it out back and kick it around or something. But it's not going to be, I'm not going to care if it breaks. So it's a, if it works for 20 minutes, I'll be happy. <laughs> just, in, just enough to sit. Just the final thing. So, just wipe that out. So yes, yeah, so you lifted it up. It it, did you put tape on the bottom? No. I what is that? Oh, is it, oh, it's sand. Oh, sand oh. And I was like, what the heck is that? Cool. So yeah, you're right. We gotta clean that up. No worries. Let's wipe that with this. Do not. You have gloves? No. Use one of my eight million. I always keep these around for these reasons. Uh, I'm not cheap. <laughs> I recycle everything. <laughs> after we're done. Yeah. Hang them up to dry. Anyone who's grown up on hard times understands. We recycle, we hang out the paper towels to dry. It happens. So, no worries. <laughs> All right, so the cool thing is that did drill through. So you can just take it off the wood now, honestly. Yeah. Flip it upside down, and then we'll wipe it. You know what I mean? Or sideways, whatever works. We're going to hose it in the shower, the sink, whatever works to clean that. It's simple. Um, just don't cut yourself in that glass. Right. Make sure the edge is fine. So as Christian's finishing up that, I'm going to take this thing and lower it into here. I did, did bring down the makeshift tripod. So if you guys are interested and keep watching, then I'll just let the camera roll as we do this, I guess. You know what I was thinking? Let's see. What do you want to do first? You want to lower that down. Tank. I'll hold that. And yeah, if we take down. the tank off. I just wanted to make sure I clean this. <coughs> I don't know, remember if I clean the inside. So I'm going to have to clean the inside of this glass just real quick one time. And then I'll, then I'll put this in here. But I want these to get good seals. We have little um, 
washer, silicone washers that are going to sit. Dang, Gabriel, you're still driving? I hope it's worth it, whatever you're doing. If it's for work or for family. <clears throat> but, oh, those came off. They weren't glued on? No. Hmm. Nope. Oh, I didn't even look. I thought they were glued in place. So, all right. So, we still have an option with that thing. I was thinking about putting a 90 degree down for the reactor, but for that, that bulkhead just would look so much nicer if it just came out and went like 90 straight down. But then we have to plumb on it later on, even though there mm -hmm. is a, a uni, uni, union, which is great. That's why I love those right. things. You can always unscrew the union if you ever have to mess with this thing. What we were trying to discuss right now, guys, is this thing right here. It's a pretty big handle. So I wanted to have it come out the side, but I also have to fit the skimmer, the return, and I was going to put in a reactor here for GFO and carbon. So I was like, if we put a 90 degree on this thing, it come down. But then the nozzle will be pointed in the water, which is kind of okay because I could take this off and put a nipple on there and just run a soft tube. Most of the reactors, the size that I'm going to find for in here, are just going to use a soft flex tube anyway. You know, the higher flow for the larger tanks, the bigger systems, the reactors may have like plumbing and, you know, up more upscale PVC attachments than just a simple tube. But look at my little mini skimmer. That thing is pint size. It's like the size of a quarter. <laughs> so, friend dropped his keys. Oh, man. Dude, that happened to me. You're a good man, Gabriel. Dropped them in the middle of the sewer? Uh, I was at the shore and I lost my keys at the beach. Ooh. I had to get the spare two hours, two and a half hours away. So, it's like a five hour trip just to get keys. Uh, but, you're a good man. <clears throat> So should I put this in the thing? I kind of feel like... Mm, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was like... They would make sure there was nothing. Mm -hmm. But, um... Can you put that on the floor? Yeah, let's do that. Let me think. I left my phone in my case, so that's the problem. I can't put it in the holder in the case, so... You guys, I'm going to sign off again for a few more minutes.